everyone, Shabby Gamer here, and welcome back to some more Fallout 4. And here we are now in Diamond City. It looks very impressive. In this episode, we are going to explore Diamond City. We've got a couple of quests that we've just been given as we came in. Uh, we need to go and speak to a news reporter who thinks she has a, uh, a quest for us. And also, we need to speak to a private detective who uh, we might be able to use to find our son. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Well, that sounds scary. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, mister? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Maybe that could be a son that's missing, then. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone. And we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there, and they'll grab you too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. The synthetic truth added. Okay, I don't know that's the newspaper I'm assuming. Anyone is one of those things, it's that secretary of his. Her and her perfect hair. So we're looking for a doctor, we are. Is this a doctor? This looks like a doctor. Doctor Sun. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about our facial reconstructive services? Um I need to see what you've got to order uh, to offer. But go easy on the chems. We need, from you, we need some right away. You've got eight, but they're 196 each. Wow. And you've also got stim packs at 118 each. So we're going to need to take at least three stim packs. And maybe two right away. Hopefully we'll find a lot more as we're going around. Um, is there anything we can sell him? I'm not going to sell him our good gun, but that's worth 136. Um, I don't know if I really want to sell him anything. What do we have? That's worth two. You might as well have it. It's worth five, two. We'll keep that because that gives us better intelligence. Um, flight helmet. It's worth ten. Just tries to take the uh, the damage out a little bit. Buff out. We don't really use a lot of these, do we? So let's let's keep one just in case we need it. What does Day Tripper do? Does that, reduce, that increases our luck and charisma by three each? That's pretty good, isn't it? it reduces our strength. Okay, Glowing Fungus. Radiated Blood. You might as well have both of them because I don't really want them now that we've got our things. Um, Radex. I probably should. I could say you two Radex. Grab that sweet roll. So that's not too bad. It's we're spending quite a bit, but at the same time, I think it's definitely worth it. So let's take one of these rad away straight away to get rid of all them rads. I did use swimming. It's my own fault, really. Right. So now we've done that. So we're looking for a private detective. I think that might be on our map. Hey. You're the new guy, right? The new guy? Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. Hmm, that's what he's sure. got to buy. Let's take a look. Something for everyone. He's got a big boy. It's a big boy. Oh, is that like the fat man? Okay. That's pretty good. Shoots additional projectiles. So you can put anything in that then, can you? That's interesting. So we are looking to see if we can find a decent gun. I might look at buying it. And then we can start to use that to... Uh, well, cushion left leg for 42. Do we have a cushioned left leg? We have a cushioned right leg. Oh, I've come out of them for. I don't know what I've come out of them for. Because he had some pretty good stuff in there that I think we should 
We should invest on buying a few of these things, and that should hopefully improve. Let's see what you got. Feel free our, to um, the grips. Our armor rating. Where's all this stuff gone? Hey there. You should stop by my stall in the morning. Commonwealth weaponry. Why is he literally just shut for the day? Oh, God. That's annoying. We'll come back and get him in a minute then. Where am I supposed to be going? It seems to be behind there. Dude, oh, there is someone behind here. Talk to Adam. Detective. Oh, okay. Does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? See it, Abbott. The wall. That's wolf. a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Oh, no. what was that? Did we just get a new quest. Talk to set. This is some place. See Abbott at the wall. I heard Tom. from my cousin. Are you Abbott? He knows a guy that works for him. Are you Abbott? Full phrase and everything. Who's Abbott? The Freedom Trail. The hell is that supposed to be? I have no idea. That kind of talk is gonna get you snatched up by the city. We just keep getting picking up quests just by standing close to people, that's pretty good. So down the back of a dark door, Valentine Detective Agency. Here we go. This is where we're hopefully going to get a bit more information. Hopefully get a bit more XP as well. I know it's only a simple quest, but hopefully it's going to be enough to get us some... Oh, it's a woman. I expected a man for some reason. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Rage you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective has gone missing. Really? The detective that is prides himself on finding people has gone missing. Excellent. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's a small matter of expenses. Money, huh? I, I do have 125 caps in the old rainy day fund. So we can get some more? Come on, this is your boss's life we're talking about here. Fine, we'll make it 150 caps. Nice. Should we go for it again? Why not? Last chance. Put some real money on the table or we're done. Okay, you win. It worked! <laughs> Actually worked! That's all I have. Right, excellent. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast of ways. People with power there care about two things, style and body count. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat get up. Please hurry. So once again, our skills of charisma really help us out. There's a Robco fun book. Yes. We've got a new holotape game. Yeah, we'll take that as well. Find Nick Valentine. So we're just picking up so many quests. So we have to find Nick Valentine, follow the Freedom Trail, go to Piper's office, talk to Kenny Khan. There's just so much stuff to do on this game. I never had this many quests in my log before. So let's let's go and speak to the uh, the newspaper lady. Can I sleep on this bed? No, I can't sleep on this bed. Okay. It'd be nice if I could have. I I probably need to take the other right away, really, don't I? I don't really want to take it this early on, but I probably do need to. We are going to get 200 caps from finishing that off as well. So let's uh, right, let's go to Story of the Century. Let's go and speak to this lady here and see what she has to offer. So she's in this direction here, okay. I think she's going to be right that front place where we spoke to that first little girl, I think. Security office. If she's not, she's going to be right here.
let's go into here and see what the uh, what Piper's got for us. Where is she? Glad you dropped by. See, is what's in Piper's pit. Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller. <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. That could be, that could be pretty good. What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? Do it. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other. Oh my god, the smell. Okay. Well, it's gonna be a fun one to quote. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? The Institute? Who were they? That blue is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. They make synthetic people? That's right. There are two major kinds you have to watch out for. The first is an obvious fake. Skin looks like plastic, skeleton might even be showing. You see groups of them scouring the Commonwealth, killing people and scavenging what's left. I reported on University Point a while back. <laughs> Whole town got cleaned out. The second type of synth is the real deal. With skin, blood, <laughs> Warm smiles and guilty glances, just like a good old-fashioned human. So, do you think they could be involved? The Institute, or one of their agents? Hmm. Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Wait, people just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> yeah, Blue, you haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth and eventually someone is gonna get taken. <laughs> Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, well, could've been worse. Could've been killed by raider attacks or super mutants or feral ghouls and they just give up so I want my readers to hear what keeps you going maybe they'll find a little inspiration now what would you like to say um. no matter how much you want to give up don't you have to have hope that you'll see them again or at least that you'll know the truth a strong note to end on blue thanks that's everything it's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Right, that was an easy quest, wasn't it? We're going to level up? Come on, level up. Oh, so close. I think we might take her. I know... Hey, Piper. Heading my way? I'm not sure how good Codsworth is. 
You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. Sure, let's go. Will do. Miss Wright, I trust you'll do your best to put the safety of my master before your own personal gain. Of course, Codsworth. <laughs> Jesus. Lucky for me, those two things go hand in hand. So send Codsworth back to... Let's send him to the Red Rocket truck stop. That could be the best thing to do, I think. So what has she got? She's got a nice big pistol. That's... She might be a bit more effective then than Codsworth. So we're not too far away from uh, from getting up to the next level. Steal all that stuff because we can. What's that for? I don't know why it's letting us steal all this stuff. It normally wouldn't, so uh, we'll take it all anyway. All we gotta do is all take a hot plate, take some wine. And if it's let me take it, I'm going to take it. Coffee pot. A couple of coffee cups. Oh, printing press, that is. What's in the fridge? Nothing, okay. Anything decent around here? A toy car we'll have. Oh, that's what the wooden blocks are. I was wondering what they were. Take some dirty water. Take the teddy bear, why not? Iguana on a stick. Right, so we've, we've completely emptied these people out again now. Which is the best way forward in this game, I think, really. Just to steal everything from everybody. Right, so now... That was... Wasn't it? What I want to do is I want to go back to the armor trader before we leave. Um, I don't know what time it is, though. What time is it? It is... 11.33pm. That's annoying. I can't sleep in her bed, can I? But it's home. Let's go back. Let's see if it lets me sleep in our bed for um for a few hours because that'd be handy because I really want to go back and see the armor and weapons trader before we leave because if we can get a decent weapon, well, it lets me sit on there. So it won't let me sleep on here. Owned. Oh god. Was oh, that a radaway? Ah, oh, the hidden radaway. Um. Assuming I can't sleep upstairs either. Owned. Okay, well, we'll take these stim packs because they're bloody expensive. Some purified water and some rounds. A desk fan. Some bobby pins. A coffee cup. Piper's terminal. So the thing is with... um, We don't necessarily know that our baby is still less than one years old. That's something I've been thinking about recently. Because obviously the baby was taken and then we were seemingly refrozen. So... The baby could have been taken, say, 20 years ago. So the baby could be 21 now. That's what we've got to think about. The baby could be the baby could be dead by now. The baby, we, the baby could have been taken out like 10, 15 years after we were put in there. And it could be like 150 years old now. What's going on over here? Don't move, simp. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a simp. Don't shoot, for God's sakes. We're family. Put the gun down now. He's a Sith! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Well, that was terrible. Show's over. There are no Sins hey. in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you oh, folks and your damn paranoia. My own brother. Can we loot him? We can. Might as well. Not gonna need it, is he? Um. What happened? I'm, I'm not a Sith. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. Well, that could have gone better. Takahashi. Whoa. Hey, Takahashi. Okay. Um, so he got killed. That's not very good. Medex, blood packs... What's everyone still standing around for? Go back to your own damn business. Let me talk to these people. Officer? Hey, I need you to step away, Scabber. Hey, officer. Move along. They got some pretty cool armor on, though. Can we talk to him again yet? Excuse me. Come on, God. God. No, we cannot. Okay. Well... 
think that's about as much as we can do. I really want to get back into this place and chat to this guy here. So he keeps all his good stuff. Things we take any of this stuff, we're going to get done, aren't we, straight away? Can someone give us a bed for the night, maybe? Home plate requires a key. I just want a bed for the night. There's so much good stuff we could steal in this place, but uh, I feel that it would be frowned upon, should we say. One thing I might have to look at is maybe uh, some of the locations of bobbleheads, because there might be some that we can get to quite easily. I should imagine there's probably a bobblehead somewhere in Diamond City. I might have a little search on that before we uh, before we start our next episode, maybe. What is public? Oh, that's the oh, that's the newspaper. Why have I gone back in there for? Why have I gone back in there for? I don't want to go back in here. Oh, hello. Hello, Piper. I want to sleep. Am I going to have to fast travel back home somewhere and come back? Because I really want to be able to buy this armour and maybe a decent weapon. We did get a, did we get a hunting rifle earlier? Or did he have a hunting rifle? I can't remember now. Um, weapons. So we've got, an, we've got an automatic laser pistol. That's pretty good. And we've got that gun already as well. That does 50% more damage against humans. That's pretty good against raiders. That's pretty good. We'll definitely keep that on us at all times. Uh, flare gun, which I've tried to use once. There was no one in the vicinity to help us. Which is a bit annoying. Um, there we go. Tactical hardened hunting rifle. See, that's the sort of weapon that I'm happy to improve. But the only problem is it takes a round that we've not got a lot of, really. So I've got that, which has got a 10mm round. If I can... I might look at upgrading one of these. I know it's a bit pointless with these um, pipe pistols because they're not really as good as the others. But it's probably worth improving them just to get our damage up. Uh, things like that as well. We've got quite a few quests on the go now as well. Let's follow the Freedom Trail then. So you have to... What is this? So good neighbours up here. That's where we've got to go to get the... Um, that we've got to go, good neighbour. There's also Vault 81 to investigate as well. I'm just worried now with Vault 81, it might have some raiders or someone in there like that, but... So we... Oh, Oakland Station's got five people there now. That's pretty good. Um, well, let's travel back to Sanctuary and sleep. This is going to sound stupid, isn't it? We're going to fast travel back somewhere to sleep, then we're going to have to fast travel back to Diamond City, and then we'll come and see this vendor and see what armour and weapons he has available. And we'll see if we can pimp them up a little bit. Because we, we definitely want to get up to level 11 so we can get our... Look how close we are. We want to get up to level 11 so we can get our armor perk. So we can start upgrading our armor properly. That'd be pretty good. And then we can hopefully become a bit more resistant to damage. And probably not get killed as often as we are. That's probably what the main problem is at the moment. Is I'm just... I'm going too gung-ho. I know that. I've always done that in these sort of games. I don't survive. And I generally don't. Uh, so... Oh, we only had a certain amount of time to do that quest. Oh, crap. Failed. Can we, re can we redo it? I think if I go back, I might be able to redo it. It's actually daytime now, isn't it? If I fast travel back, it's going to be shut, isn't it? It's 9am. Right, so if I go back to Diamond City. Diamond City Market. Hopefully we can go back and we can take that quest again and we can just go and do it straight off. Hopefully it's the hopefully it's not just a one chance deal. It said failed, so chances are it should be able to come up and we should be able to do it again, I'm hoping anyway. I am hoping that we've not just missed out on that quest due to my fear of getting killed. Which is a possibility. So I do have that fear. So close to level up to like I said, upgrade our armour. Right, get the latest issues of public occurrences. 
Well, the lady at the front, did she yeah. sell it? Ain't got nothing better to do? Well, hello. Hey, mister, that interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free coffee. There we go. So that's a... Uh, we get XP for that? So we have to view it all first, okay. Let's have a quick look over Arturo Vidal and see what he's got for us. Right. I'm not going to press the wrong button and come out this time, I promise. Right, so what have we got then? We have got... Right, so that's pretty damn good. Braced, shadowed, right shoulder's pretty damn good. And it's only 34. It's going to really give us an improvement on that. So uh, well, let's go across to apparel first. So, so he's got a braced, shadowed, leather, right arm. That's a really big improvement, as is that left leg as well. Oh, a lightweight metal left arm. That's actually better, isn't it? A metal helmet, that's a big improvement. So we'll definitely look for that. So that's downgrade, that's downgrade, that's an upgrade. Left leg protectors, oh my god, look at that! But look how expensive it is! 4,547! Oh, but that looks like some pretty damn cool armour, both of those parts. Is that a right arm and a left arm? Right, so I'd love to be able to get them, but obviously we can't afford them. Um, that is not that great. So we've got that pocketed treated left leg. Is there any more left legs up here? So that's a left leg as well. That's five and nine. Uh, left leg four and eight. And left leg five and nine. So that's 39 caps. And that's 42. So we'll go for this one down here. We'll buy that. Um, left arm. And left arm. So that's seven and three. Seven and three. That's lighter, isn't it? Yeah, that's light. And it gives an extra two action points. We'll have a bit of that. Metal helmet's a big improvement. Left leg. We brought a left leg? I can't remember now. We have brought a left leg already. We brought a left leg and we brought a left arm. So we need right then. So that's right. I think there's only one right arm anyway. So we'll take that. And there's no right legs, is there? There's not. Okay. Well, that's good. That's a big improvement on what we've got anyway. So we've got anything where we've got better <coughs> better sort of ammo for. So there's 0.45, we've got that. Um, hardened sniper rifle. That looks pretty good. We've not got many rounds for it though, but that might come in quite handy. Armor piece in automatic pipe. No, we don't really want that. Old faithful. Does double damage if the target is at full health. Now that looks pretty damn good. But it is worth 2,270. We're going to need a lot of bottle caps. A lot of bloody bottle caps. Plasma pistol. We haven't got any plasma though. Pull cue. A bit pointless. A rolling pin. See, I'm tempted to buy a rolling pin just for the sheer sake of, uh, of what we can do to it. Short combat rifle. See, that might be a good shout actually. It's 287 caps. But uh, it's 33 damage. It's a it's a decent weapon. We've got some ammo for it. I like the look of that. Then we've got the short shotgun shell as well. That's 50 damage. Sledgehammer. Suppressed sniper rifle. A pipe rifle. Switchblade. Tactical armor piercing auto pistol. That sounds pretty evil. A walking cane. I bet we can do some good stuff with that as well. I think I might go... For a short combat rifle. I know we haven't got enough caps for that now. So we're going to have to sell him some of our stuff. So what can we sell him that will get our value back up? Um, well that's worth 30. Oh, we're not doing very well are we? So we've got quite a few pipe pistols. So what are the ones that I'm actually using? Well. I've got. Automatic laser pistol. We probably want to keep that. Um. So you probably... Uh, so what's this new gun take? It takes 0.45 mil. So we're not going to use anything else like that, which uses 0.45 mil. 
So that's 14 damage on a 0 0.38 mil. And that is 16 damage. We can get rid of that as well. Still not. We need to pick up a bit more, don't we, still? Um, that's a 0 0.38 mil. Again, we're not going to use that. 308 mil. See, I'm not using the mines at all. There we go. We can afford all this now. So let's accept. Done. Right. We've run out of caps now, but I think we've definitely it's definitely worth it. So let us go into our inventory. Go to apparel, and then we can put all this new stuff back on. And we want we want a lightweight metal left arm. A metal helmet, a pocketed left leg. Is that everything? Let's go through it slowly. So that's not going to improve. That's not going to improve. No, no. Right. So now we're wearing all of our best gear. That's a bit better. We got a free work. Now it wants us for a quest to read those newspaper articles, I believe, that we've just got. Is that correct? I'm sure it just popped up and said to read them. I don't see any quest for it. Well, let's do it anyway. Um, I'm going to go to inventory. You want to go to misc. Zoom. Right, from the vault. Do we, do we actually read it or. From the Vault, Part 1 by Piper Wright. Whenever I take a walk through Diamond City, there are so many things people tell me to be grateful for. Purified walker, working lights, electricity, security. True, what we have would be unthinkable even a few decades ago. But it's easy to forget that ev even after all the progress we have made, we are still living in a shadow of a world that was. That was. A world before the threat of radiation, before super mutants and feral ghouls and the simps. So, so as fortune often has it, I cross paths with Luke, a vault dweller, a person who has experienced the Commonwealth for the first time. What would his fresh set of eyes say about how far we've come? Is Diamond City great green jewel? We have always claimed it to be. Before we begin to answer that question, we have to know Luke. Okay. There's not actually much here, is there? It's just uh, repeating the same things that we've already said. Ah. So much civilization was lost when the bombs fell and we rebuilt in comfort and security of our own vaults. However arrogant and privileged Luke's statement seems, we have to remember where he has come from. Cheeky bitch. For all your modifications, scopes, hey. glitches. Just let me know. Barrel. Piper. What's going on? Your thoughts? Never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. Okay. Is everything okay between us? Look, you don't need to worry. We're fine, I guess. I just, I want to do right by folks out here. I guess I need to know you do too. Okay. Oh, nothing. Okay. Okay, that was a bit uh, pointless. Weapons workbench. Excuse me, sir. I need this. I need this, sir. Thank you. Please move out of the way. Right, so we just got now our new weapon, which was this... Short combat rifle. Now it has already got some upgrades on there. And I don't know what we can do to make it even better. Don't be well, by doing that, we can decrease the damage. Well, that increases the damage, and it takes adhesive, gears, oil, screws, and steel. So that what does that do? That increases the damage from 33 up to you can get up to 49 at some point. I mean, 57 with that. 
Wow, that'd be good. We just need to go up to the next level. So I think... I think we're pretty good for hard and receiver for now. It's going to take a few of the bits out of our inventory. Don't walk outside the wall we can actually level up by doing this, can we? For sale. So long barrel will increase our range and our accuracy. So that's probably worth doing as well. You can't shop here. Diamond City surplus does not serve sins. So I can't do this until the next no, level of gun. What's it actually That's do though? So that reduces, that increases the weight and increases the value, but nothing else. So that increases the accuracy. So that's better. We can't do that yet anyway. Standard magazine, large magazine. So all of those would be pretty good. See that will uh, increase um, reload speed. That'd be pretty good. Standard sight, so we can get a better sight, which can increase our the sort of things we can get up to. Night vision scope, that'd be amazing. A long night vision scope, so we can start to take people out from distance. So that'd be really good. We need science and we need gun nut for those sort of things. Okay, so at the moment. We can do medium dot scope. That'll increase our accuracy. And again, we have the materials to do it. And the muzzle. We can have a bayonet, which will reduce its range and increase its weight. It's probably not a very good thing to do. Suppressor uh, improves recoil, reduces range. Exceptional recoil control, better per shot recoil, inferior range. And then those sort of things are worth it, I suppose. Protection for sale! Hand tools pieces! We've really gone through all of those now, haven't we? We do we've done that already, haven't we? So we've really improved that weapon a bit. Not by much really, but enough to be half decent. Let's have a look at this. We use this quite often. This gun. So maybe we can improve this as well. We could give it a hard and receiver, which increases damage again. Um, hail trigger. Powerful receiver. There we go. That would that would make. Oh, I can't do that because I've got enough aluminium on us. We can do that, but that won't be any good for us. So we can do this one. This will increase its damage by a little bit. So we'll do that. I'm really just trying to level up by doing this now. Right. So a uh, long barrel will increase our range. We'll do that as well. We're not going to level up our just not So comfortable grip will increase accuracy. As will that. That will take it up to 65, and that will take it up to 64. So that's probably worth doing. Standard magazine. We can't improve any of these because we don't have the screws. Glow sight we have got. So we need screws. We're running out of screws now. Uh, small bayonets. Right, so it's about as much as we can do. So we've improved it, definitely improved it. We put the damage up by three, so that makes it a bit better. Um, is there an armor one as well? Near? Come on, Piper, get out of the way. I'm listening. Get out of the way. Right, so now we've got these extra bits and bobs we've taken. So, like cushioned, we can eventually get up to sleek. No. So these, oh, they, these just do certain things to you or somebody in my front garden these do certain things to you uh, what we want is this one, welders, we want temper to give us an extra bit of bonus uh, health, buttress is the best one you can get up to of course, but we need we need armour perk 1 to get that and I don't really want to spend on uh, doing that until we get up to there Okay. now we are so close to level 11 right now and I don't quite know how to fix it I know something you probably can do to get up to level 11 and that would be to go to one of our places, such as Sanctuary, which has got seven people in now, and build something. We build something that gives us a little bit of XP. See, we're so close. We also need to find dog meat. We need to find... I know I sent him back here, and I don't know where he is. And we need to start building up the Red Rocket as another settlement as well. So there's a lot of stuff we still need to do. Uh, I, so I just want to get to this point here. If I can get to level 11 now, it means we can uh, 
for next episode we can start to upgrade all of our armor, which would be pretty damn good. There's also another perk I want to take where we can start to break down armor as well. So all the other armor that I pick up that I've been storing upstairs in the house, I should be able to destroy at some point. Right, so there's seven people here now. Uh, what can we build that will uh, make this a little bit better? Maybe we can build one of these. There was prefab structures, wasn't there? There was one right at the end that was like a sort of building. So we can uh, fit like an extra house in here. Um, I'm trying to see a place that's good to put it in. It takes doesn't take that much materials, really. Uh, it's not going to fit there. It's almost like it's just like a pre-built house. Who's that? Who is this? It's a minute man. He's got his own dog. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just looking for somewhere I can drop this down. There's like an extra house maybe. Maybe I can use that little wooden hut. Let's see if there's somewhere I can show there's somewhere I can put this down. It's not gonna be too much in the way. And it should give us some XP for building it as well. I don't really want to build it on there because I know I can build a proper house on there. Um I think all this space is sort of taken. Can I fit it in between these two houses? I can? No, I can't because it's going to be on that foundations. And we will be building on them foundations at some point. Or maybe if I go into um, if I go into wooden prefabs, there's little wooden shacks. They're a bit easier to... Uh, is it in miscellaneous? No, it's not. It's in prefabs. There's little wooden shacks, which is probably a bit easier to position. There you go. There we go. There's a nice little wooden shack. Then we can squeeze that between the two houses, can we? No, we still can't. It's still too big. Must be somewhere we can squeeze this wooden shack in. We're halfway down this hill. Come on, where are you? Oh, let's just let's just give up on that. Let's just build another water pump or something. Water something. They're no, they've got enough food, so maybe water is something they could do with. And hopefully that should put us over the edge for what we need to do. So another water pump. It's really cheap to build. Again, we'll probably put it a bit further over this way, actually, to probably spread them out a bit more. In this front garden here. Boom. Still not enough experience to put us up. Oh, God. Um, is someone running over there? I thought I saw somebody running. That's the problem with this place. There's not a lot of space, apart from I've built on this one, of course. Maybe we can fit, can we fit a little wooden hut in between? No, because the amount of space I've taken to build that. fit in here? I think it could fit in there. And hopefully we'll get more experience by building a bit of building. So what is that? That's just like a like a corner piece, is it? Oh. There we go, it will fit in here. Boom, there we go. We've got another a nice little extra hut in the middle. That means we dinged up as well. Excellent. So now if we go into our Pip-Boy and we go to level up, what we can do now is, so what I want to do, um, I think it's under, is it intelligence? So you've got scrapper. So I can, I can then start to scrap uncommon items like screws, aluminium, copper, when scrapping weapons and armor. So that's pretty good. That's the sort of stuff I want to do because I've got all the armor upstairs so I can start to do that. There's also science where I can take full advantage of uh, high-tech mods. That's definitely something else we want to do. 
But the one I wanted to do first was armorer. Boom. Now we can start to improve our armor. And uh, I think we'll probably do that in the very next episode. So if I come across here into our armor station. Always was a little jealous of folks who for example, we'll go into our, our pretty cool stuff. And we can go up to there. Probably the steel requires none. Is that already on there then, is it? No, it's not. So there you go. If I can get some more leather from the other workbench, we can uh, increase that to 22, 22 from its 15. So we give it an extra 7 damage. Uh, protect. Oh, we can't because I need armor too. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't tell me I need to go even better off, do I? We need to keep upgrading our armor up, perk then, because we can't do that yet. We can do. Can't even do them. Maybe this is a bit more higher level. So this is a shoulder. This is like a right arm. So there we go. I can do this up to the top level. So this takes us from four and five up to. What does this do? This doesn't prove any of that, does it? So this will go from four and five up to five and nine. And um, we've also got cushioned right leg. So that'll go from three and three up to six and six. That doubles the uh, the health on that. So we can definitely look to increase our damage resistance and everything like that as well. So that's pretty good. Uh, we do need to obviously improve our improve our skills on armor to get the full effect out of it, though, of course. Let's sleep for an hour just to get rid of that. And then I think we'll have to call that it for this episode. We're up to 46 minutes. That's a lot longer than a normal episode, of course. But uh, we're well rested as well, which is handy. We get a bit of extra XP. Don't know what we're going to do next time. I might have a look on the internet before we start our next episode and see if there's any easy bobbleheads to get hold of. Because that's going to really help us out. Especially maybe the endurance one will be pretty helpful as well. So I might do that. I don't really want to cheat and do that. But at the same time, I think we might need to. Because it's going to really help us out a bit, I think. But uh, yeah, we'll see how I feel on that one. I am nipping out now, so I'll be recording a few more of these a bit later on. Saying that, I think I've got about 15 episodes to upload anyway, so it's not going to be that major, is it really? Yes, I'm up to episode 21 now, and I've only uploaded six. So yes, I've got a lot to upload. Uh, yeah, if you have liked this video, then be sure to hit that thumbs up button, and of course, subscribe for a lot more Fallout 4. Uh, I am really enjoying playing this, to the honest truth, and I don't think I'm going to stop anytime soon. Uh, but yeah, I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all next time.